Diane and Ron are, they, they've just really been arguing for years. Uh, Diane says it's been eight years since they've really had a relationship. And now that they're in self-isolation, they both agree that it's been really ratcheted up extremely hard for the two to find any common ground as they navigate their time together under the same roof, even though they've been divorced since March 31st. So how do they keep from really driving each other over the edge in the time that they are going to spend together if they're going to spend more time together? Well, guys, it's time for you each to take responsibility for what part of this you own. And Diane, you're blaming Ron, and Ron, you're blaming Diane. But let me assure you, nobody, nobody is responsible for your feelings and your actions but yourself. Diane, Ron can't make you feel the way you feel. And Ron, Diane, she can poke you, she can prod you, she can say whatever she says, but nobody, can choose how you behave, what you say, how you feel, but you. And that's good news and bad news. The bad news is the only person that you control is yourself. The good news is the only person you need to control is yourself. You two are blaming each other, and that's the wrong person to be looking at. I, I don't understand how you don't take responsibility for your own role in this. Diane, let me start with you. What do I have to do to get you to realize that he doesn't control you? He doesn't dictate how you feel or how you behave. That's totally up to you. You're right, Dr. Phil. And um, uh, what I do, like you, like I said before, I do have my crystals. So uh, this list, my, this special angel lists my spirits. And not only that, I have great advice from people I've had met through my years. And one good saying that one man had said to me was, Diane, you have a beautiful smile. Remember this, always walk on the sunny side of the street. You know why? Because it always makes you smile. And because of him, that stays on my mind. And it makes me smile. If that angel is the one that's guiding you through this, then you need to make a stronger pact with that angel because you have to decide, and let me tell the two of you, Ron, Diane, both of you listen to this, the stuff you're arguing over, these things in these boxes, the kitchen stuff, this, that, and the other, I guarantee you, have a yard sale and see how much you make off of that stuff. I guarantee you, you're not talking about $500 worth of stuff. If you go try to sell that stuff, you're not gonna get $500 for it. It's just simply, you're, you're arguing over nothing. You're right. Used you're right. furniture, used dishes, used flatware. It's worthless. Once you own it, it's worthless. Its only value is its replacement value. And it doesn't cost that much to replace it, frankly. You're arguing and putting your health at risk over nothing. The two of you have to decide, I'm not a victim. I own my choices and I'm going to stop doing this.